Hello everyone and welcome to the FCFT. I'm David Johnson and today's filter will be how to use brightness and contrast. Now this filter can be used to give more detail to a particular item in your shot, increase brightness of an entire clip, or when paired with a three-way color corrector, it really can help adjust particular colors within a section. First, I'm going to show you the original clip we're going to work with, and let's see the same clip using brightness and contrast. Now I have a friend who uses this effect to tweak every shot used during the editing process, and it can really go a long way if the colors in your shot were recorded correctly. So let's drag the clip we want to work with from our browser down into our timeline. To add this filter, head back up to the browser window and go to the Effects tab. Open Video Filters, then Image Control, and we can see the first filter of brightness and contrast. Let's drag this filter down into our timeline over our video clip and drop it there. Now that the filter has been added, just double click on our video track and bring it into the viewer. Head over to the viewer's filter tab and take a look at brightness and contrast. Now right now we can see they're both at zero. If we adjust the brightness up, it increases that brightness of all colors. However, we can see the shot gets washed out by white. So let's keep this at zero for now and take a look at the contrast. If we adjust the contrast up, we notice the colors in image get darker. However, objects begin to pop out a bit more. Now you don't have to increase this much, just a little bit. And typically, this contrast can be offset by adding some brightness afterwards. These controls here are great for trying to add some light to a shot or get things to look a little crisper. But let's show you how you can get more use out of this by adding that three-way color corrector I mentioned at the beginning of this video. Let's head to our effects tab in our video browser, video filters, color correction, and three-way color corrector. Drop this effect down onto our video clip the same way that we did our brightness and contrast. Let's double click on our video clip again to refresh it into our viewer and head over to the video filters tab so that we can see that now we have the three-way color corrector. The reason why I like using this with brightness and contrast is that instead of bringing up brightness for all the colors, the three-way color corrector can bring up brightness for our blacks, our mid-tones, or our whites all separately. And this can avoid that white haze over our image and we can tweak them to our liking. So play around with these settings to get the shot that looks most pleasing to you and just remember to add a bit of contrast first, then adjust your brightness with the color corrector. And that does it, another thrilling tip and another great day. This is David Johnson and I will see you on the next one.